suspension is over, and they'll play with a sole striker. Here is the Norwich City team for you today. Ryan Bennett replaces Russell Martin, who's banned. Alex Tetti plays with Yusuf Molumbo in central midfield. Cameron Jerome is the lone striker today. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. He can manipulate the ball superbly. It seems as if it's on a string at times. And here we are, the start of the match. Samuel Umtiti. It's Senye! It's a corner. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. Some of the fans there thinking that should be a corner, but it's a throw. Titi. Sergi Roberto. El Sharawi! Great save by a diving goalkeeper. Just a flick on with the header. They've kept possession. Galloway. Let's get across to Goodison Park and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 12 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Not going to go for that yellow card here. Just a free kick. But here's Wes Houlihan. And the tackle there is successfully done. The shot's on! Couldn't quite keep his composure there on this slippery surface. Yeah, not easy, the ball skidding up very quickly towards him. One date for your diary on EA Sports, the upcoming Barclays Premier League fixture for the hosts. Stephen Whitaker. Whitaker. Got on the ball in midfield, well read by the player in that part of the pitch. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league, and they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. They are. I mean, they've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it can affect teams uh, in, a, in a less than positive way, but uh, they look as if they're made for that top ranking. Douglas saw that pass coming in midfield, made the intervention, and now maybe he can push the team forward with his work on the ball. Stephen Whitaker. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. Dini. It wasn't very good control, they've lost the ball. Oh, in goes the cross. Keeps it going. Stephen Whitaker. Got to cross it. Good hands, bread and butter work, really, by the goalkeeper. But he did it very competently. He's having a good game. Sergi Roberto. Galloway. will end the threat, at least for the moment. On the attack here. Throw-in coming up. Insignia. He 
has got the ball away from the danger momentarily, but it is a corner following that good tackle. No nonsense defending from him. Douglas. Samuel Umtiti. He's going to shut off now. Very good stop here. How's he done that? It's a fantastic save. Sergio Roberto. There's some potential in this move. Good tackle. But here's Wes Houlihan. Yusuf Malumbu. Giroud. Douglas. Douglas. And we're halfway through. What we've got now is an extra attacking element to the side to try and break the game open and get a goal that could be decisive. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Oh, it could be off. Shot off. Well, that's in. It's in off the defender. Just looking at that deflection, of course, defenders do get attracted to the ball. He might have been better just letting it go. Yeah, there's an argument to say that. I think the goalkeeper behind him is actually getting that point across now. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Alexander Tete. Where's Houlihan? Well, he loves having the ball, and when he lost it for a moment, you can see the determination to go and win it. Norwich City's next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Everton in the next match in the Barclays Premier League, and, and I do see them as second favourites in this one. No doubt that's a corner. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Alexander Tete, Stephen Whitaker, and the away team want to make a change. So here's Wes Houlihan, Sergio Roberto, Dini. It's a poor touch, and the possession's gone away. There's a lot going on down at the Liberty Stadium, and Alan McInally can tell us all about it. It's a second goal for Swansea City. 60 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Well, here comes the support. It's going to be a, a throw here. Substitution, going on the base. Sergi Roberto. Alexander Tete. Attacking well here. And in goes the cross. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. We can hear from Alan McAnally from the Hawthorns today. It's a second goal for West Bromwich Albion. It's been scored by James McLean. The defender attempted to clear the ball, only managing to hit a teammate in the face leaving the ball at the feet of the opposition for an easy finish. 68 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. The referees played the advantage here, and Norwich tried to take advantage of that decision. Well, they've lost the ball. I think we'll see with these possession stats, Alan, that, yes, the uh, 
game has been as even as it seemed without the, the figures to back that up. Yeah, I mean, I think we thought coming into this match, Martin, that it would be evenly matched. And it's been the case here. But here's Wes Houlihan. And he's moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. Got it back again. Insigne. He's going to cross it. He has cleared it well. Well, he took no chances there. It's a corner. Chooses the punch here, the goalkeeper. Good technique. Alexander Tete. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. El Sharawi. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. It's a free kick and it's a foul by El Sharawi. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front, and they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, if they do end up winning this, they will have their fans to thank because they've been terrific out there today. Still as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Not much margin for error, but the player didn't make an error. He read it very well, and they're still surviving at this important stage. Galloway. He could cross it from here. What a good interception. And Johnson. It's finished now with the final whistle. This will go down as one of the great wins through these extraordinary circumstances. Yeah, and they might suffer with suspensions in the forthcoming games, but they won't care about that at the moment. It's a terrific win. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him.